can't make no excuse neither. We I know we just talked about Quando Rondo. We can't talk about his what's it, label owner, label CEO. Y'all see that picture, yo? Y'all see the imagery young boy be putting out there, bro. Functioning dope fiends. They got they got they got the proof in their lyrics. They talking about they on that board, they on drugs, they on Percocets, they on heroin, they on lean, they is junkies, bro. We got one of the biggest rappers in the world with the, one of the biggest you following ever on the internet right now. He posted a picture with hella pills in his mouth. Do rappers care about their influence or is it just only for entertainment? Like, is they with crashing the youth out just for entertainment, views, and sales? Was it marketing? Do niggas want their fans to believe they dying? Do they want to die? These questions we got to start asking, asking ourselves about these people that people want to idolize because if they want to die, why you look up to them so much? They don't even want to be here on this earth. You mean to tell me their music got you messed up in the head so deep that you want to follow everything they do down to the path of them wanting to die? This man posted, <sighs> hold your friends accountable, man. Think about this. Hey, bro, this how this how I vision shit like that happening and, and pictures and stuff like that happening when they go down. Because I, I'm a, I used to do videography and photography too, so. Hey, bro, take this picture of me right quick. Hey, hand me that pill bottle over there. I'm about to dump a whole bunch of pills in my mouth. I'm about to have a lean cup beside me. Yo, this about to go viral. This about to go crazy. I'm about to lay on the ground. I'm dead. You mean to tell me that was a good thing to post? You mean to tell me y'all acted all of that out? Deal all of that. Just to post it. What about your influence over these kids? But I understand it's entertainment and one person can't save everybody. But one person can influence one mind. Influence wants to work. Tupac said something of that sort. You know what I mean? I just been disappointed now. I woke and embraced God. And there ain't nothing cool about being no junkie. Ain't nothing cool about going to the hospital, getting your stomach pumped, cause you 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 almost died over a liquid substance or a pill or it's designed to kill us. So why would we promote that? Not only are we promoting death and destruction and mayhem, now we promoting being a junkie. What's that young boy's song? He said, he said, he said, I was sipping lean. I was sipping lean. I was sipping lines going on five days. My body ain't got no fluid. I hope my daddy come get me off of these drugs before they say my kidneys fail. Do y'all listen to them lyrics or do y'all like those lyrics too? Like, oh, it's like, it'd be like, oh, I'm on that shit too, so bad. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm waiting to die like him. You might die before him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, think about it. You might die before that nigga, bro. I don't think that'd be the one of the people you want to look up too so much because they got the money to support their drug habit which is an excuse as well or fighting demons which is an excuse as well but i know a lot of people out here they might got trauma or they might have been through something in their past but they want to identify themselves as a pill popper or lean head a pill head just because it seemed cool, that's going to be real with y'all. That shit just getting you so far away from yourself. What you running from, bro? Whatever you running from, deal with that shit. Because you're going to wake up one day and look and be like, damn. 30 years of my life passed and I was on drugs and I don't even remember what happened in the last 15, 20 years. All I can remember is I was how my mind every day making some of the worst choices up. 
if that's the way you want to live or you want to die, I mean, I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Coming from a recovering pill addict, hey, man, I'm just telling y'all my truth. You feel me? I never was really on lean that bad to the point I cared about it that much. I was able to quit both cold turkey. You know what I'm saying? But it's not that serious. Like, deal with the shit you got going on. Go to therapy. Talk to somebody. I know niggas be having, but, uh, you know, dead people playing on their top, and they don't got people that really they can talk to. And Man, talk to yourself and talk to God. For that nigga young boy, I wish for him to meet God. Not that, but really get in touch with God, because God need to say that, boy. For him to have revelations type shit, too, where he say, oh, I know my life is just entertainment, it's funny. That should make you want to wake up and not even promote that shit to these kids because, I don't know. I'm just a mess. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Or do y'all think these artists be feeling like they fans and they followers going to leave them if they take a holistic approach or get into religion real deeply? I don't think so. Niggas like young boy, they, they, they big artists. Like they, they fans and the youth be following them with whatever they do. That's what I look at. Like they idolize these people so much, they really will follow every step they do. They check their page every day. They watch everything they do. So yeah, go a different direction, man. It's a it's a better way to be. I say ignorant. Ignorance is bliss. The world loves negativity, but don't crash yourself out and potentially crash the youth out because. You might be the only thing saving some of these people out here. Your music, your testimony, you know what I mean? But whatever. I'm just a messenger, man. I'm just a nigga in the pain. With a, with a, I'm just a messenger. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. Opinion. Y'all get in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this shit. I ain't judging because I come from that shit, so I understand. But I'm also the one who always told people, like, bro, you running from some shit, bro. Deal with that shit you running from because you're going to be running for help. I don't care if you've been molested in your childhood. I don't care if you done killed somebody before. I don't care if you done been to prison. I don't care if you want to die. I don't care if you suicidal. What's the worst of the worst? I don't care if you've been shot. All that shit. Man, stop running from yourself, man, and deal with yourself. On top of that, not saying young boy, but a lot of these niggas be running from them homosexual thoughts. Yeah, if you're gay, be gay. It's okay. If you feel like everybody gonna judge you for being gay, get them niggas from around you. But a lot of these niggas be wanna, you know, they be wanna suppress themselves because them thoughts be eating them alive knowing they didn't suck the dick in the past or got fucked in the past and can't deal with the shit or deal with that they liked it. I'm just a message. I'm just a nigga with an opinion. I talk to all sorts of people because I don't judge people. So I'm just telling y'all the truth. If you gay, be gay. If you bisexual, be bisexual. Just leave the straight women alone. Don't mess the game up. You feel what I'm saying? 